Hello, my name is Patrick Peterson. I'm a Cisco Fellow and Chief Security Researcher, and it's my sincere pleasure to give you a preview of Cisco's 2008 Annual Security Report. It's something I'm very excited about because it's something that we here at Cisco have never done before. We've taken the intelligence and expertise of over 500 security engineers, researchers, and analysts who work at a number of different divisions and groups within Cisco and pulled it all together for this year's security report. If you're interested in vulnerabilities, malware, spam, securing the virtual environment, a very hot topic, as well as data leakage and things that we anticipate for 2009, recommendations on how to work together with your employees to improve your security posture, this is a report which I think will really be beneficial and quite fascinating for you. Now, we're not going to go through a high-level summary of all those topics, but I wanted to just highlight a couple different areas that I thought would be very interesting and give everyone a taste, a flavor, of what we've got in this year's 2008 Annual Security Report. One of the areas which is fascinating for me, and we've done a number of investigations around, is the criminal ecosystem. The ability for a criminal to no longer just use their own resources and know-how, but a broad network of criminals all working together to commit large, profitable, successful crimes. Now, there's a whole myriad of business models and relationships that they develop, and some of these are highlighted in the report, but fundamentally, many of these begin with malware and botnets. Criminals need computers and large numbers of computers in order to propagate their attacks and maximize their profits, and using malware to infect someone's personal computer, my mom's, my cousin's, my uncle's, is an incredibly common mechanism, and then harnessing all these together, putting the reins around them, if you will, to form a botnet, is a way that they do their spam sending, their click fraud, their denial of service, they're stealing information from a personal computer. And so we're definitely going to talk about that criminal ecosystem and how it works, but in particular, we're going to highlight an area of the criminal ecosystem which has been all too successful for them in the last year, and that is the use of the web as the primary mechanism to infect the computer. It used to be there were mass spreading worms over the network, or there were lots of emails that had viral attachments, and those were the top ways historically that you would find criminals building these botnets and trying to make money off of other people's infrastructure. Nowadays though, the web is the mechanism. And we're going to walk you through both the insecurities on the personal computer, as well as the insecurities on the web servers themselves that people are visiting every day, that have allowed criminals to use their botnets to attack legitimate web servers and then propagate the malware through those web servers to all sorts of innocent consumers. And then, of course, those innocent consumers are used to maximize the criminal's profits. If that's the kind of thing that you're interested in, this kind of cutting-edge threat that we've seen in the past and we anticipate more in the future, then please uh, join us with the Cisco's 2008 Annual Security Report for an in-depth look at that topic and the ones I mentioned out at the beginning. Thank you very much for your consideration, and please, as always, let us know any feedback you have on the Annual Security Report. Thanks.